Welcome to the Carl's Mower So You Own series. Today we'll be focusing on the Steel MS-180. So if you are a new owner of a Steel MS-180 chainsaw, or if you're a longtime owner of a Steel MS-180 chainsaw, this is an opportunity for you to refresh what you know about the chainsaw and how to take maximum care of it and get the most out of your saw. So before we get into the saw, I want to co cover a couple quick things. First is safety, right? Chainsaws, awesome tools, but also can be very dangerous. So one is we always recommend a helmet. Advantage of the helmet is falling debris coming down. We also have the face shield here, as well as the ear buffs. So let's protect our hearing, let's protect our eyes, let's protect our head. So the steel helmets work very well for that. Chaps. No, not the kind I wear when I ride a motorcycle. Chainsaw chaps. This is a pair of chaps, guys. Wraps around your waist like so. Boom. And your legs. And this has six layers or nine layers of material built into it that when the chain tooth touches it, it rips out the material and stops the chain almost immediately. Chaps are always recommended when we're running a chainsaw. So don't forget, chaps when you're running a chainsaw. Also a good idea to have safety glasses. If you are wearing the helmet, there is some fine debris that could get through the mesh. If you're not wearing the helmet, always glasses, earmuffs, and chaps. All right, we've covered the safety. Now let's get into fuel. Okay, before we use this thing, we always wanna check and see what our fuel supply is like. So fuel is going to go in this cap right here. The back one is fuel and the front one is bar oil. We have a couple choices when it comes to fuel. We could run the traditional route where we go to the gas station, buy gas, take one of these little bottles of oil and put the proper bottle in with the amount of gas that we purchased, okay? That works. I do highly recommend running ethanol free fuel. Ethanol is in pretty much all of our fuel today. There are some select stations that'll keep you out of ethanol, but ethanol will long-term damage the carburation fuel lines as well as really not allow your saw to run up to performance. So ethanol free fuel mixed with steel ultra oil or the ultimate is called moto mix. This is pre-mixed fuel guys. It's a 93 octane. That's a pretty hard octane rating to find at the local gas stations. It's ready to roll. It has a two year shelf life once I crack the lid on this. So ultimate fuel to run in your steel MS 180 chainsaw is moto mix. If you don't plan on doing that or don't want to spend the money for that, I get it, I understand it, but at least consider this for hibernation. Anytime you're not going to be using this saw for a period of time, okay? So steel moto mix, you can pick that up. And then the last thing is bar oil, right? Okay, we've talked about the fuel bar oil. Why bar oil? Well, the bar oil provides lubrication for the chain. This chain is spinning around very fast. It's getting hot. We need to keep it lubricated. Why bar oil? Why not just regular motor oil? Well, motor oil is very slippery, right? So if I put motor oil between my fingers, I'd go like this and my fingers would slide easily. Bar oil is tacky, think honey, okay? This oil is not stuck to this bar, so I wanna put some uh, bar oil in it. It's gonna keep it sticking to that chain. So always bar oil and good fuel. Every time I fill the fuel, I fill the bar oil, okay? Got it? All right, let's get into the saw, right? The steel MS-180, I'm excited to go out and use it, but I wanna do it safely. So I've got my safety gear. How do I start this saw? Back up, before we start it, I wanna check the chain tension. This chain could be too loose or too tight. Problem with too tight is it will stress the engine. Problem with too loose, it could jump off. So we wanna find that proper tension. With the steel MS-180 to adjust the tension of the chain, I can loosen the bar nuts right here Usually a turn is all I need to do. And then this bar wrench goes right between the bar nuts is the adjuster screw on the steel MS-180. If I turn it counterclockwise, the chain is going to loosen. If I turn it clockwise, the chain is going to tighten. Okay? So that is chain tensioning. Once I have tensioned that chain to proper tension, I take the bar nuts and I re-tighten them. They need to be tight 
not super tight, so just good and snug, okay? I could probably get another half a twist on that, but that'll cause damage to the saw. All right, our chain is tensioned right. We've got our safety gear on. We've got fuel and bar oil in. Let's talk about the brake. What does the brake do? Right there, lever forward, brake is on, brake is off. The purpose of the brake is multi, multi-purpose. One is, if the saw were to kick back, boom, kicks the brake on. That's gonna stop that uh, moving chain immediately and really prevent a lot of damage. The other is when I start it. If I start this chainsaw and I'm in this position or down on the ground and that chain is spinning, I don't really control the saw at that point in time. So I always want this brake on. And I always also personally use the brake anytime that I'm walking from cut to cut. So if I'm just bucking up a log, I'm not gonna put the brake on, but if I have a log here that I've finished cutting and I need to go over to another log or some other branches, I'm gonna quick flip of the wrist, put the brake on, move to my next cutting area, take the brake off and go to work. All right, starting, brake on. Squeeze the trigger on a steel chainsaw all the way down is choke, okay? If this is the position that I'm gonna pull the rope two or three times, it's gonna fire. Let me repeat that. At this point in time, I'm gonna pull the rope two to three times and the saw is going to fire or burp or cough. It's not going to start. So one, two, maybe a pop, three, maybe a pop. If I didn't hear anything by the third pull, I'm going to take the choke off. If I did hear something about that second pull, I'm still gonna take the choke off and that's gonna be flipping this lever up one position. Now this is the start position. Now I'm gonna pull the rope and it's gonna take off and it's gonna be running at a high speed. Immediately blip or squeeze the trigger and it's gonna to return to idle, okay? Now, take the brake off and go to work. All the way up is off. Let me go over this again. All the way down. How do I get it all the way down? I squeeze the trigger, I move this lever all the way down to the bottom. Two to three pulls, it fires. Manually up one notch, okay? It starts. Remember, it's running at a high rate of speed. I've got my brake engaged. I don't want to roast this thing. So I've got to get that high rate of speed off fairly quick. So I squeeze the trigger. It returns to idle. Now I'm ready to go. And then all the way up is off. Awesome. I always like to go over to that, over that, that causes some confusion. What else do we need to know about the steel MS-180 chainsaw? To access the air filter, I take this little black button here. I twist it with the included bar wrench, boom. And I can take off this whole cover and I'll find the spark plug and the air filter in that area. Not a bad idea to keep underneath this bar cover clean. One other little small thing that I see on these chainsaws is a lot of idling time or a lot of low power cutting, which is fine. But over time, you stand the chance of plugging up your exhaust screen. So it is best to run a chainsaw at high speed, but there are times you have to prissy foot around. I get that. But before you put it away, make sure that you have cleaned out that, that screen. If you ever go to start your saw and it doesn't really want to run right, not a bad idea to check that screen. You can take that off and see if that screen is filled up with carbon. All right. As with all equipment from Carl's Mower and Saw, you get this awesome folder. And on the front of this folder is going to have all of our contact information, your model number, your serial number, your date of purchase. We at Carl's Mower always register your machine for you so you don't need to go home and do any paperwork. It's nice and easy. When I flip this folder open, there's gonna be some reminders. There's gonna be a, a fuel reminder, right? No ethanol. There's gonna be a mix oil reminder. Help you treat this saw as best you can. And this orange sheet here is our referral program. Hey, you bought a steel chainsaw from us. You're bragging about it to your buddies. They come in, buy a steel chainsaw because of your work. We're gonna send you a thank you gift card. On the uh, other side here, we're gonna have the owner's manual for the saw, as well as a safety manual for the saw. All chainsaws, all gasoline powered chainsaws at Carl's Mower and Saw include a free sharpen card. This steel MS-180 comes with $100 with a free chain sharpening. That's roughly 10 free sharpens. Not bad. That's well worth it. 
we do recommend though to have something on hand to sharpen your chain, right? Carl's is here to sharpen your chain, to keep it running good and cutting good, but it's not a bad idea to be able to field dress. I'm out here cutting, I hit some dirt immediately, that chain is not performing well, but I got 10 more cuts to go or 20 more cuts to go. Check out a file, we've got this awesome file here that not only sharpens, but also takes the rakers down at the same time. Okay, that's the steel MS-180 how-to. If you have any questions, comment on this video, shoot me an email, josh at carlsmower.com. We really thank you for taking the time to watch this video and hope you enjoy your steel MS-180.